Okay, we're delighted to be joined by uh, Under-18s manager Matthew Etherington. Um, well, Matthew, first and foremost, let's start with, with uh, Tuesday's game. You had a, a cup tie at, at Wimbledon, a uh, league cup tie, uh, which pushed you yeah. into the semi-finals. Yeah, and um, obviously really pleasing performance against a strong Wimbledon side. Always physical, always um, on the front foot and, and asked us questions and, and the boys stood up to it and, and the performance in and out of possession, um, the intensity that we had was, was really good and a, and a real step forward and it carried on from the Cambridge game, to be honest, where, where we were very good after a slow start against them as well. So I um, feel like the boys are peaking at the right time, really. It's, it's looking good. Um, there's some real positive signs in terms of their individual performances and the and the team performances. So, um, yeah, plenty to, to be positive about. And with the FA Youth Cup obviously suspended, this, this cup competition probably becomes even more important because it's a good opportunity to get some silverware. Definitely. We, we set a target at the start of the season to win it. So, um, Wimbledon won it last year. They, they won the national, um, we're in the area version of the competition at the minute, um, semi-finals. Um, and then the southern and northern regions, um, once you get the final out of the way in, in your area, go into the national final. And Wimbledon won it last year, beating uh, Rotherham. So, obviously, to, to beat them and, and, and to progress through to the semi final was, was very pleasing. And, and the performance was more pleasing than anything, if I'm being honest. It, it was a real good performance. Yeah, and obviously Hamid Shola has been injured for for quite some time, and, and I know when when you sort of had him in in pre season, you could see what he could bring to the party, and it, I guess it must be nice to have him back available because he does make a bit of a difference to you. He does. Um, obviously, we've seen what he was all about when he when he played in the twenty threes game. Remember the uh, the first team fixture, which was twenty uh, threes plus senior pros at Boreham Wood, where he was very good as well, um, and, and he was good for us in pre season. The injury that he got in the twenty threes game was really unfortunate. Um, it set him back quite a bit and, and he had a long time out with it but he played 45 minutes on Tuesday um, and his minutes now will go up and, and he looked a real threat. He makes a, a real difference and, and is a real handful and got his goal as well. He took it really well. Yeah and Benji as well on, on target again another player who's sort of tasted a bit of bit of first team action and he, he's you know he's growing into into the role and obviously learning all the time and adding goals as well which yeah. is uh, which is a real bonus. Yeah, Benji was very good um, with a little bit of time off that we've had where he's played a lot of games so far this season with the 18s and the 23s and as you said, been in and out of the first team as well on occasion. So um, I feel like the breaks on him a bit are good and he looked really good on, on Tuesday. The, the goal he scores is brilliant. He takes it from inside his own half and, and drives a bit, drives inside and into the box and, and it's a really good finish. And um, yeah, Benji looked really good yesterday, as did a lot of other players, to be honest with you. And like I said, it's, it seems like we're peaking at the right time. Yeah, it's obviously been a really weird time for everybody over what feels like 10 years, but it's obviously been a year. But um, in terms of the, the youth team, it, having spoken to Kieran about it as well, it must be really hard to sort of manage the group. And I, spe I suppose as a manager, you're learning all the time because you're dealing with so many different facets of, of young men. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Um, I, I think all coaches of any level will say the same thing, that are lucky enough to still be working. Um, we know we're in a privileged position. And all the protocols have to be adhered to, to, to the letter. And, and we're doing that. But the boys are now getting tested um, twice a week as well, which is necessary. Um, and logistically, of sorting travel out and making sure that um, there aren't too many people in one vehicle, etc. There's a lot that goes on now to, to get into away games, home games, um, etc. So um, everyone's dealing with it really well. Um, scarfy has been brilliant. The whole full-time staff that are in have, have adapted brilliantly, to be fair. And, and then the players have adapted um, more importantly, and, and they're thriving with yeah, in their training and in the games, but they're, they're adapting to what they need to do and they're doing it. Yeah, the first team managers spoke about mentality in the first team group, and I think you've got a pretty good mentality within your group as well, and it seems to be sort of spreading through the through the club, and, and, and that elite mentality is can take you a long way. It can, without a doubt, and you've definitely seen it with the first team who, who are flying at the moment, and... and the, you know, when, when the boys see that happening and, and the way that they work, it can only help. Um, and, and they do see it on a daily basis. So our, our group have been really good. Our first years seem like they're progressing really well, which is which is good as well. And they're pushing the second years. And there seems a real unity within the team. So, yeah, it, it's it's good to see. Um, their development is, is ticking along nicely, which is the main thing. And, and um, we're in a good place. <laughs>